everyone, this is your Vintage Gamer, and we are Gaming Vintage, starting our October Fright Fest, Scare Fest, Frightening Games, to get you ready for Halloween. We have here, Konami, back in 1990, the one-time king of the 2D side-scrolling action-adventure games, especially in frightening settings. The third of a series a long-running series starring the Belmont family going up against the Prince of Darkness himself, Dracula, in Haunted Transylvania. This is the third entry starring Trevor Belmont himself as he fights against the big head vampire. So now, we, with our whip and our witch, are going into Castlevania Three: Dracula's Curse. So what we're going to do, to start, is we're going to have to put in our name. And our name will be, as you would guess, Vintage. So, let's begin. In classic Castlevania fashion, we have to find enough hearts to use our items and get whip upgrades. Here is the town of Transylvania, according to Kanan. Always check those walls for hidden items. The long jumps can be a problem if you don't know where to start. We'll leave that alone. You wonder where these skeletons get their supplies of bones. One thing you have to be careful with is respawning enemies. They do that when you go off screen. It's not a Castlevania game without Medusa Head. Now we have Undead rising from the graves and Bat. Don't forget the Bat. But the cross cures all.
There's some food to heal us from our ineptitude. Sometimes enemies respawn off screen, sometimes they disappear. Now, the first boss fight. Not much to worry about. This was a new feature in Castlevania. Picking your path. We will go with the bottom path. It leads to a much quicker route. Spikes can be walked under. Spikes can be jumped on top of. Just as long as you don't get hit. You have to fool that ghost into going the wrong way. As you can see, we are already on block three. The door is your checkpoint. Red skeletons come back up after being taken down. So now, we get to the next path. Which one will we pick? I prefer the shorter path.
Perhaps I should have taken the other one. Keep whipping, that's the key. The longer whip shapes a lot of trouble. There's a reason people don't like spiders. Now, another boss. The key is not let the creature charge you like that. Time your jumps properly, and you will defeat the boss. And now, we get another new aspect of Castlevania games. A companion. We will take Cypher. Cypher is a mage. Another new aspect. This leads to a ghost ship. If you switch to Cypher. Certain power-ups will be magic spells.
nothing like being killed by a headless swordsman. If you notice, the damage output of your enemies has increased to three. The discolored steps decay and collapse, so be careful. Especially here. More food. Very, very resourceful. Good thing these skeletons don't have good arms. Empty space means platforms or pendulums. Now we have Medusa. Which leads to the second half of this ship. Medusa is another mainstay of Castlevania. More food. Could use that. We will have Two bosses in this ship.
That's why you want the long whip. You hope the platforming gets better for us. It doesn't. Different color, still easy to kill. Now, two bosses instead of one. Mummies, and what else? And that's it. But we will find out what happens next in just a minute. 